What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm bringing you Slowbro. Galarian Slowbro. Quick Draw, Quick Claw Slowbro. With Quick Draw, it allows you to sometimes move first, and Quick Claw allows you to sometimes move first. And when you have both combined, your attacking moves go first about 44% of the time, I think it is. So it's really funny. Uh, but here we have basically a standard Trick Room team with just weird Pokemon on it. We've got Slowbro, which has Expanding Force, and DD to set the Psychic Terrain. Vicavolt, which is the highest special attack in, re legal in Reg H, and it can Disquake next to this Ursa Luna because it has Levitate, Discharge, doesn't hit the ground type, Earthquake doesn't hit it. Beautiful combo. And then Torkoal. Torkoal's great in Trick Room and also great with his Lilligant for our one fast mode. But anyways, this team was made by Zolrain. I'll link him in the description. Go sub to him. He plays like Pokemon Auto Chess or whatever. Uh, but anyways, let's get on to it. Alright, we've got Pelipper, Archaladon, of course, Golden Go, Incin, Amoongus, and Primarina. Okay. Slowbro is sitting at 36 speed, so Amoongus can get under that. But Torkoal, Torkoal's min speed. Okay. I think it has to be Torkoal, but Pelipper's <laughs> gonna be annoying, of course. Uh, I can just go... I do have Grass Terra on Ndidi, actually, so actually Psy Spam mode looking pretty good. I'll go Psy Spam, and I'll want Torkoal and Ursa Luna. Ursa Luna can hit a lot of those. They got two Steel types and an Incineroar, so I really want the bear. Um, I guess I could drop Torkoal entirely. Because, I mean, the bear... Slower than Vicarol. The bear is immune to Spore once the Flame Orb gets activated. Then maybe I don't even have to fight for weather. Torkoal can actually hit our Chaladon, though, is the thing. Though this Torkoal can't hit Primarina. They're definitely going to bring Primarina into this team. So Vicavolt might actually be able to punish that. Yeah, okay. I'm cool with this. That Slowbro can hit Primarina pretty well, too, with Shell Sidearm. I think against a Primarina it would become physical. Oh, that's a cool trainer card. Okay. Nice. It's a sick shiny. Ensign Golden Go. Okay, so you just wanna fake out maybe, set up make it set and send make it rain, whatever. Sounds fine. I would like to set up Trick Room. I wonder if I can get in the bear and trick room with Ndidi safely. They would throw a knockoff at Slowbro though, that's the problem, and then I would lose my flame orb. So yeah, I should trick room follow me first. No Terras. And they know better than to fake out. I guess we really are in Master Ball tier. Ooh, but they went for Shadow Ball. And knock off into Ndidi. Uh, we live! Okay. Shadow Ball would go after. I kind of want. I want to bring in Ursa Luna here, and follow me away at potential knockoff. Because if they're locked into Shadow Ball, that would be fantastic for Ursa Luna to come in. It's not like Slowbro is really doing much. It's that Trick Room that that's its job here. And then I need to follow me though, because I can't afford to get knocked off. And Incin will move before Golden Go, so yeah, this works. And if they take out Ndidi, then I can get a Burned Ursa Luna and Vicavolt on the field at the same time, with multiple turns of Trick Room remaining. That would be ideal. Okay, here comes a Terra. I'm not sure who or why. Golden Go into Dragon. Maybe they were worried about, like, a fire move or something coming out. But as long as they're still clicking Shadow Ball, we should be fine. And I don't see why they wouldn't, because they know Incineroar can just knock out Ndidi, and then they would be free and clear to Shadow Ball. Yeah, it is still Shadow Ball. Okay, they might, just, they might be Specs. They should have clicked Make It Rain, if I'm being honest. But that is their problem, not mine. Go Vicavolt. 
Alright, who switches into a Disquake? Not a thing. And I think the Ursaluna is actually trained to be slower than this Bicavolt, so even if our Chaladon comes in, it gets hit by the Earthquake before it gets a free stamina. So we're gonna Earthquake, and we're gonna... Electric Terra Discharge? Who else do I need Terra on? Got Ghost and Dark. It's not really gonna help anybody. So yeah, might as well Earthquake and Terra Electric Discharge. Let's do it. Let's click the funny buttons. We got the things on the field in the in the setup. We gave up Indeedy for it, so it better work. And they already used their Terra, which is amazing. Um, I guess there's a chance Golden Go lives this double up. It's not weak to Earthquake, and it resists Electric. Vickabolt's strong. I don't see Incineroar living it up, of course. It might go down to just the Earthquake. Nope, they just barely live the Earthquake. That berry is not going to save you, Ensign, but the Golden Gull might survive. Honestly, with how much health it had left, it looks like it's really bulky. Well, let's see if Vickavolt can just prove me wrong. Yeah, get out of here! Okay. Vickavolt, you are powerful. You have shown me. They don't have Terror remaining. They could have Wide Guard. In fact, they should have brought Pelipper if they know what's good for them, because I have a Torkoal on this team. So it'd be insane for them to not have a Pelipper. And Pelipper can have Wide Guard. So we might have to lock into single target moves now. But that should be fine. Yeah, Archaladon, I'm very happy to just headlong rush you, because you cannot Terra. And Pelipper, you can have a Thunderbolt. That'll work. And if you have some Protects or some Sashes to play around with, I still have two turns of Trick Room. Headlong Rush, Thunderbolt. Okay, so worst case is they protect our Chaladon. Pelipper is Sash. Weather Ball KOs Ursaluna. That would be worst case. Would our Chaladon be Power Herb on this team? I don't think so. Assault Vest fits so well there. So I don't think they're going to have Protect on Arch. Yeah, they don't Protect. Boom, get out of here. Critical hit, I don't think I needed it. This bear is too strong. Yeah, if they had protected, then I could like expanding force plus thunderbolt. Yeah, I might have been able to overwhelm the Archaladon, especially if they weren't assault vest. I think it might have still worked out anyway, because they wouldn't have the special defense to take expanding force plus terra electric thunderbolt maybe. Oh, I paralyzed the Pelipper. That actually... <laughs> that could have been awkward. If I didn't have enough Pokemon left. And yeah, Weather Ball does take out her Saluna. That's fine. I've got another turn of Trick Room. I've got two Pokemon left. Like, what are you gonna do? Slowbro's at full health, even. Gonna get the finishing blow. I think. I think Slowbro is slower. I don't know the speed tiers on these guys. Because they're not all min speed, but yeah, this is slower. Cool. So, Shell Sidearm, because it's the cool move. And Thunderbolt. Quick Claw, let's go! Or Quick Draw, actually. Oh no! <laughs> you get Quick Draw even if they quit? Fine. GG's. Alright, Garchomp, Incineroar, Dragonite, Amoongus, Ninetales, King Gambit. Those are some strong Pokemon over there. Those are some really strong Pokemon over there. Our Ursaluna is min speed, so it, at worst speed ties the King Gambit. It's gotta be Ursaluna. Ursaluna would, is huge in this matchup. Being immune to Spore once the Flame Orb procs, being able to KO pretty much anything it wants. So I need to get Trick Room up, and the only way to get Trick Room up is indeed Slow Slowbro. But I guess I worry about, like, Earthquake? I would I would have to Terra Slowbro then. Or swap it out to Vicavolt would be an option. Do I want Torkoal is the question, or do I want Vicavolt here? Vicavolt's pretty good. It is one point faster than Minspeed King Gambit, but I don't think they would be Minspeed King Gambit. 
question is whether Torkoal is just better. They've got three resistances, but Amoongus doesn't like fighting it. King Gambit doesn't like fighting it. Ninetales really hates fighting it. So I think I want to bring Torkoal. Yeah. Uh, Incineroar is annoying, but manageable. This is going to be a tough one. They got strong Pokemon. I mean, I got strong Pokemon too. They don't have everything immune to expanding force. Oh, Dedene! Great card. Great trainer card. Love it. Love Dedene. So cute. Too bad it's awful. Okay, Garchomp Ninetales. Yeah, this could be just Earthquake Blizzard. Which is really scary, actually. If I had Vikavolt, maybe I could bring that in, but... How defensive is this indeedy? You can take some stuff, right? Oh, special defense. Through the roof. Okay, um... Don't have Protect. Not gonna be able to swap safely to anything. We're kinda pinned. We kinda... Terra Dark Trick Room. Is there even a point in that? I should just Terra Dark Expanding Forest Trick Room. And the Slowbro is significantly bulkier. 193, 115... Oh, Slowbro is bulkier on the physical side, at least. I'm gonna Terra Dark Trick Room follow me. I think Terra Dark Expanding Force plus Trick Room might have been fine, but I don't exactly know what they're doing here. I'm, I'm thinking it's Blizzard and Earthquake, but that's kind of crazy, isn't it? They have like Life Orb, Terra Ground, Garchomp, and Spex Ninetales or something. Okay, they don't Terrastalize. They do rip a Blizzard, which Slowbro eats pretty well. They're Life Orb Ninetales. And they also Earthquake. Okay, so that was I wasn't crazy. They did do that. Both of my Mons live on a wish and a prayer. Oh my goodness. Well, I click Expanding Force now. You did so much damage to your own Ninetales there. I guess I'm fine if both of these Mons go down. I'm wondering if I should try to bring in my Ursaluna now. Just predicting a swap from something. Because I can Expanding Force. I could Helping Hand. I'm going to bring in Ursaluna. Okay, and DD swaps first, as it should. I do think there's going to be a Protect or a swap from their end. I'd be really surprised if there isn't anything. Yeah, Ninetales swaps. That makes sense. They might want to reset the weather later. Garchomp might just stay in being like, I can take a hit. Yeah. Garchomp and, and Dragonite should both be able to eat this. That did a lot to Garchomp. I wonder if, it's, I wonder if Helping Hand would have taken it. It didn't, doesn't look like it, but it might have been close. Now, yeah, they can set Snow back up, but I can just get Torkoal Ursaluna on the field going crazy here. I think that has to be the play. Hit the gas. Trick Room is up. Let's do it. Slowbro, you did great. Now let, the, let these guys clean up. They could, okay, they can only have one of their Dark Types, too, but Expanding Force is gone. Uh, these are their fire resists on the field right now. Eruption, I'm pretty sure takes Garchomp from here, so I just need to facade the other slot. Which I guess could swap to King Gambit, good luck with that one. Yeah, you're not going to want to do that. And Amoongus coming in now would be meaningless, Torkoal's slower than it, and Ursaluna's burned already. Yeah, this should work. Uh, you can't extreme speed. You didn't have a Rillaboom to swap terrains. A Terra Ghost from Dragonite wouldn't help. Based on the expanding force damage, I think Garchomp would go down to Eruption from here, but they're swapping that slot out. Into Ninetales, presumably. No, into Incineroar. Okay. That makes sense. You get the Intimidate. You can resist the fire move. And Dragonite protects. Okay. Well, I know your whole team now. So it'll be actually pretty easy to call what I need to do. Uh, you, I think they might be able to stall out my Trick Room, though. 
I can get a facade. I think they might try to like terra their incineroar here to live a headlong rush. Would they live a headlong rush? I don't think so. I think I'm happy to click eruption. Let incineroar get a move off. And facade the dragonite. I think that's all I can do here. I'm not going to be able to KO both of them this turn. But I'd rather take out Dragonite, because Incineroar is, isn't going to be very healthy. And if they want a Terra to try to take a ground move, then they're going to be vulnerable to Eruption. Okay, they're swapping out. Get another Intimidate later. Get rid of the, the Sun for Snow. Okay. Get another Intimidate, get Garchomp on the field, get rid of my Weather. That's fine, but I'm taking two KOs here. Oh, I guess maybe they were hoping I went for a ground move, and that it would redirect into Dragonite here. But no. No such luck on your end. And a crit, okay. They're gonna bring my Ursaluna to minus two, but I think that only matters if there's a Terra involved, because Headlong Rush at minus two should take Ensign from where it's at. And Facade at minus two plus Eruption should be enough for Garchomp. Really though, if they get off an Earthquake, I lose. Basically. Are they choiced? Is there a chance they're choiced? This is the last turn of Trick Room. And Didi won't be able to help anybody. If Garchomp can protect here, it can't knock out Torkoal. So I could protect Torkoal, Headlong Rush, the Incin. Then if they're Choice Band into Earthquake, are they really going to knock out their own Incin like that? I'm, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to protect Torkoal. Headlong run. Okay, they just forfeited. They, uh, they, they didn't have anything they could do there. Cool. GG. Great trainer card. Alright, we've got Golden Go, Garchomp, Talonflame, Tyranitar, Primarina, Amoongus. Probably Sand Veil, Garchomp. Don't love that for my Torkoal. Expanding Force looks pretty good. Not really good, but pretty good. They really only have Garchomp that resists it and Golden Go, both of which don't like the bear. So it's gotta be Slowbro and the bear. What's their way to stop Trick Room? Spread moves? Make It Rain would be the scariest spread move. I could have Torkoal, but Torkoal just doesn't hit anything. They've got too many resistances, so I think it's Vicavolt. Do we have Bug Buzz for the Tyranitar? Yeah, okay, that's pretty cool. And then if we go lock into like Disquake in the late game, or mid game, because I mean Trick Room doesn't have much of a late game, it's it's a slow... They try to play it slow, we try to play it fast. But then I could like catch a Flying Terra. Um, I think this is my best bet. I'm scared of Golden Go. Talonflame Golden Go seems like a fine lead from their end, and I don't really have a response to that. Oh, and they got Golden Go in their good trainer card. Um, so alright, what is my answer to Golden Go Talonflame? No! What is my answer to this? Because they can make it rain. Probably. Uh, Indeedee's very specially defensive. Maybe Indeedee can just take it and set up Trick Room on its own. Bring in Vicavolt. Um, no, because I would get taunted. They would taunt Ndidi. So actually my play is Expanding Force, hope for the quickness, and try to Trick Room. I get it! I get the quick draw! Alright, here comes their Terra. Let's go, Slowbro. <laughs> Uh, I think we still might lose both of our mons to uh, Terra Steel Make It Rain. So this game might be over anyway. But if we can Oko Talonflame, 
Which I guess there's a chance of. Maybe we can't get taunted, maybe indeed he lives. No, Talonflame lives. Taunts the slow bro. Okay, we've got a shot. Indeed he just has to eat this make it rain. And Zolrain was nice. He gave us special defense EVs, but no psychic seed. So let's see. Yes! Yes, indeedy. That's fine. Slowbro got one hit off, and it, it's it's a good hit. I will take that and run with it. Now. I'm definitely leaning Vicable. I think Terra Electric Discharge here could clear the board. And get my Ursaluna in. Yeah, Terra Electric Discharge has to be the play. They've already burnt their Terra. They can swap into Garchomp, they can swap into Tyranitar. Both of those could take it alright. Uh, no, no. I, I was thinking, do I Helping Hand and give up my Ndidi? Nah. I'm gonna just discharge Terra Electric and bring in Ursa Luna. I think that's plenty to take gold and go from here. Plus there's a chance they want to retreat their gold and go, or or their Talon Flame. They might just be Garchomp though. Tyranitar? I'll take free damage on Tyranitar. I love that. Not that I really need it, I'm gonna Earthquake you. Um, I guess with Terra, I could have Thunderbolted Golden Go. If Discharge doesn't get it, that's like the way I can lose. If I take a ton of damage on Ursa Luna, though at minus one it shouldn't KO, I might have enough turns left just to win from here even if I don't KO Golden Go. The biggest threat would be Sand Veil messing me up. No, I do take Golden Go though, perfect. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Sand Veil could definitely cause problems. They don't have Terra left, so if they bring in Garchomp, I just Earthquake and Bug Buzz the Garchomp. Earthquake definitely takes Tyranitar. Bug Buzz plus Earthquake should be enough for Garchomp. And if Talonflame comes in, yeah, it's, Gar it's gotta be Garchomp, but you don't have Terra. Sand Veil is the only win condition they have left, and there's nothing I can do about it. I don't I don't have my Torkoal with me. So I got a Bug Buzz, and I got an Earthquake. I mean, it also has to be enough. Oh, battle's canceled. Yeah, they're not even going to try the Sand Veil. Let's go, Vicavolt. So much offensive pressure. Oh, yeah. Good card, by the way. All right, we've got a Clefable King Gambit team. That's also a Pelipper Basque Legion team. I guess it's just like a rain squad where their steel type is King Gambit. They've also got Incineroar and Amoongus, which is standard. Standard stuff. Nothing crazy here. What's their response to Trick Room with Slowbro? They've got two Dark types. What's their response to Lily Cole is just have Pelipper in the back and good luck. Do have Sleep Powder to play with, but there's goggles on something for sure. I don't hate getting Trick Room up. I think I need Trick Room. The question is Vicavolt, Ursa Luna, or Torkoal in there somewhere. Because Torkoal actually hits their team pretty hard. <sighs> Vicavolt hits their team really hard. What's their electric resist? Amoongus? Okay. Bring your Amoongus into size spam. And then for their two dark types, Ursa Luna hits their two dark types. Torkoal only hits one of their dark types. So I think it's Ursa Luna. Plus then I can discharge. I like it. I like it a lot. It's a tough matchup though. Psy Spam into two dark types, Torkoal into rain. Cool trainer card. Love it. I would have wanted to get the moon like right at the top of its head. I don't know. Maybe it was hard. <laughs> Double dark lead. Okay. You hate me, I understand. Here's my question. Do you hit Indeedy or do you just hit the slow bro? Because I could tear a dark trick room, bring in Ursaluna. 
right away. That's so risky. I could also Terra Dark. Shell Sidearm? No. I'm gonna need to Terra Dark. Trick Room. The question is, am I willing to go hard into Ursa Luna this turn? I think I am. I, I'm gonna play Risky. They have a they have both dark types out on my size spam lead. I need I need some momentum back. If they knock off my Ursaluna, it's bad, but it's not the worst thing because not being burned affects my facade greatly. But my earthquake that's no different than just like being intimidated once. So I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. These earthquakes will still hit without a flame orb. Oh come on! Well. <laughs> Uh, and Swords Dance from King Gambit, okay. That's kind of scary. At least I get my Trick Room up. And I can start Earthquaking. I think I'll slave Slowbro for later. Oh, I could Haze. I could Haze away the Swords Dance boost. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna haze away that Swords Dance and Headlong Rush Ensign. Um, Ensign swapped. Show me something not in the air, please. Amoongus? That's fine. Oh, I don't have my Flame Orb, though. <laughs> That's bad. King Gambit just protects, but I get the haze off anyway. So that's cool. And now you're in a position where do you let me Expanding Force your Amoongus? Good damage. Are you buried? Yes, you are. Okay, next one doesn't KO. So I think I can ex I could expanding force headlong rush and like, all right, which one do you want to give me? Like, yeah, you can spore, you can bring in Insin. But I'm gonna get something down. You Terra your King Gambit defensively. If you're Terra Dark King Gambit. You could Terra it defensively, bring in Ensign. Ooh, we get the Quick Claw! Aw, oh, Moongus swaps anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, into Incineroar. That Quick Claw would have let us go before the Amoongus, which would have been fun. Now I wish I had just clicked Haze. Get rid of this Intimidate, get rid of the Headlong Rush drops. At least we are still dealing damage, and they are Terra Dark. Ah, everything wrong with that turn went wrong with that turn. Maybe I should have played into that more. Giving up the Flame Orb turn one was brutal, honestly. At least we move before King Gambit, but it doesn't do anything. Tau Tau Cleave probably KOs our Ursa Luna now. Yeah. Now, Vicavolt could come in, but it can get faked out. Still think it's a fine play. Slowbro is like, while it's not threatening them much, it's not threatened. I think I want to get some chip on Insin with Shell Sidearm and just protect Vicavolt. Shell Sidearm after these Intimidates, I should be using a special one. So it should do some damage. If King Gambit only has dark moves, like, it, it, we've seen Protect, Kowtow, Cleave, and Sword Stance. The last move has to be Sucker Punch. Quick Draw does not matter here, Slow Bro, but thank you. And an Insin Swap. Protecting my Vicavolt for no reason, then. Did the Moongus back up to full? Man. Regenerator. Brutal. King Gambit just protects. Okay. I want to Expanding Force the Amoongus and Bug Buzz the King Gambit. They're probably going to want to spore my Vicavolt. 
but they have to be, well, first of all, they have to be min speed to catch my slow bro. And then there's still a 40 something percent chance that I just expanding course them first anyway. So I think this is fine. They just withdraw Amoongus, so you're not getting the spore. You could sucker punch into my Vicavolt. But otherwise, you're getting bug buzzed. King Gambit swaps. We're finally going to see your fourth? Into Pelipper. Okay, yeah, they've seen I don't have Torkoal, so they're fine with just putting Pelipper in now. But Pelipper's gone. Because I doubled into that slot. So that's great. Uh, I want Trick Room back up. Maybe I bring in Indeedy again just to get Psychic Terrain back up so I can't be faked out. Uh, Amoongus comes out. I just want to Expanding Force into Amoongus. I don't know. For, for how bad this is going, this isn't going that bad. Like, what do they have for my Slowbro at all? They set up Rain, so if they have Flare Blitz, that's useless. Their King Gambit only has Dark Moves. Sure, their Amoongus probably has Pollen Puff and Spore. That would be the most annoying, but you have to contend with getting Expanding Force at any time, because you burned Terra already. Yeah, here's Amoongus. An Amoongus we never saw the speed interactions with. But I think Expanding Force bring in Indeedee is the play. That'll block a fake out potentially. If they just go back into King Gambit, they get a free hit. But like, I'm not sure what the value of that is. And if they're a fast Amoongus, I guess they could go before my slow bro. Okay, they just swap in King Gambit. Alright. I'm not sure I get it. They parting shot into Amoongus! You brought Amoongus back! <laughs> I'm doing expanding for us! Well, good. Slowbro knew what was up. Slowbro was like, no, this time I need to not quick draw. Because I need to hit that Amoongus. Perfect. I'm at minus one now, though, so I don't think I KO. Well, I don't know. Slowbro actually pretty strong. Let's see. I don't think he KOs at minus one. No. Next one should. Alright, well, indeed he can start throwing gleams to wear down that gambit. I could shell sidearm the Amoongus. Should I just go for expand? I don't think they're leaving Amoongus in. I'm gonna go for shell sidearm just for some chip and dazzling gleam. To chip the king gambit. Yeah, they swap Amoongus every time. They have not left that in one time. Good damage into King Gambit, honestly. Probably losing Ndidi now. Goodbye, Ndidi. You've done well. Shell Sidearm does decent damage. Does it have a poison chance? I would have liked to poison there, but it's not the biggest deal. Alright, uh, yeah, it does have a poison chance. Alright, I'll shell sidearm the Ensign. Um, no, I will Trick Room Protect. Yeah, King Gambit just protected. I think they want to do something. They either want a Parting Shot, my Vicavolt, or I thought they might want to Kowtow Cleave my Vicavolt. But if I put up Trick Room, then I'll move before them. Alright, parting shot at my slow bro again. But this Amoongus is gonna be annoying, honestly. But it doesn't want to take an expanding force. Though at minus two now, it can definitely live an expanding force. I think I have to bug buzz expanding force here. 
Um, Haze wouldn't be bad either. Yeah, Haze isn't bad. Amoongus might stay in, might swap out, but I at least get my special attack back. And Bug Buzz into King Gambit should be the KO I need. Uh, quick draw, quick draw is interesting. Quick, quick claw that was okay. Yeah, because quick draw doesn't work on status moves, but quick claw does. The Amoongus spores my Vicavolt. They finally stayed in for something. Vicavolt eats its first sleep turn and gets Cow Cow cleaved. I guess. No, they Swords Dance. Alright, I Expanding Force this Amoongus and get rid of it. They can swap to Ensign if they want. They have to risk me waking up and bug buzzing now. They also have to worry that I might haze. Because we now saw that Slowbro actually quick, cl well, cl quick claw made it go first, actually. We've still never seen the speed interaction, have we? Not naturally. Ooh, they Pollen Puff their King Gambit. Okay. But I get the expanding force at full power on terrain. Amoongus goes down, finally. Now if I wake up on turn on this first turn here, it's game. Ah, oh, come on, Vicavolt. Alright, Vicavolt's getting deleted. It's all it's all on slow bro now. And Psychic Terrain gone means we get Faked Out. Fake Out, Kowtow Cleave. Uh, what can I do about that? I think we're end gonna end up losing this. Man, this was a long fought battle too. Two turns of Trick Room remain. Gotta go for a Shell Sidearm into King Gambit. Maybe they don't fake out for whatever reason. Alright, we get the quick draw, but they're just gonna fake us out. No, they don't! That's good damage, give me a poison. Yeah! Oh, that's big. How much? So much! Way too much. And then a parting shot, yeah. That was that's way too much damage. Uh they could go for sucker punch now, which means we could haze, but they could go for protect. I think they just go for sucker punch. But what does that matter? Knock off plus any hit from King Gambit, we're going down. I guess we have to play for a throw, which would be they go for Kowtow Cleave again. Shell Sidearm the King Gambit. Yeah, it's just Sucker Punch. Yeah, I could have hazed there, but the Incineroar was getting a hit, and then Trick Room was ending. And then another knockoff plus Kowtow Cleave, we would have been gone. We would have to attack eventually. Alright, GG. It was a fun one. And it was close. Go, go uh, align that with the moon. And we are back. Vicavolt, very impressive. Slowbro definitely did some stuff too. I really love this team, Zolrain. Thank you for making it. I hope you enjoy it too. There's a rental code in the corner if you want to try it yourself. Sorry I didn't bring Lilligant, but I mean, you know what Lilligant does. But anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright. Peace.